Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. What's new? Tell me. And how are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how are you? Okay. I feel like in the Gemini, you have a I have a safe zone, right? I have a safe zone with you guys. Okay. I feel like it's a uh, you know one ideal trick of uh, Gemini is that you can tell them the honest truth of their situation how good or how bad you know doesn't matter it's like a little monologue here right now with uh, gemini just appreciating the fact that while other people calls you you know so dual it's not really that you guys have two sides it's more of you can understand both sides but there are times that you would really just choose one side, something that you would benefit or not. But what's good with your zodiac is that you can see both truth and the lies. Especially in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Especially in situations that asks for truth, which is again, relationship. For some reason, with Gemini, you will always find yourself dealing like a crossroad kind of thing. May it be relationship, may it be just life. You guys are always faced with the dilemma of what do I do? Because I know the truth and I know what is not the truth. So what do you do? I find it that the Gemini always tries to try to understand themselves only to find out that they're also even going to be more lost trying to put those two together. The twin. I feel like you shouldn't try to put the twin together. It's actually for the twin to really have its own um, life or existence. It's what makes you strong. It's what makes you you. Which is a good thing. Because being true to yourself is something that is rare. Do you like them? Do you love them? You just have to accept it. Other zodiacs will have hard time. May it be fixed sign, mutable. Mm -hmm. They have a hard time facing that. As an air sign, you, ap you appreciate the truth. You, ap you appreciate the clarity. You appreciate the part where if people can just be honest. Right? Just like this channel. You appreciate it because it's not for you to like it or to hate it. Well, I just want to hear the truth. Good or bad, then let me decide. And let the, basically me, your bestie, do his thing. Yes? Mm. See, that's the safe zone that I'm trying to talk about to the Gemini. Very healthy. That's why I love the Gemini. But also, if you have duality, I have 12 dualities. I love all the zodiacs. <laughs> Sam, just saying. Um, just saying. The world card. So let's talk about this hard lesson that you have recently learn the part where you understand that freedom is what's important to you the part that what matters to you right now can be a fixed sign is to understand them even fully Aquarius Taurus Leo and Scorpio you understand that 
the world does not revolve around them. The world is for everybody. It has to be shared. And that's why normally when we learn lessons, we understand that being in a codependent relationship or one-sided, that's like living a world for one person. And that's selfish. And that's what you've learned. That people can be selfish. People can take more than what they need from you. And you've probably done that also. But what you're doing right now is protecting yourself from that scenario. That wreath, is that wreath, that olive or that leaves, whatever you want to call it, is a protection. A protection from the world right now because you understand that you need to be the focus. That you need to be the one taken care of. You also understand that you are always vulnerable. You're always open. And that's the reason why they never stay. You treat them like a hostel. <laughs> so you learn. I won't be open. I won't just be welcoming them. I won't be just all trusting. Not that you have trust issues. But this time, you understand like I need some sort of wall. And not just believe that everybody in the world is for your best interests. Right? This read is more intuitive, if you guys are wondering. Which people salivate about when I just go deep to what your thoughts and feelings is. And then we'll extract it, and then we'll do our prediction. You realize that relationship for you matters right now. That's what you realize. It's the truth. You realize that connections such as partnership is something that means the world to you. Whoever it may be. Four of Wands. This energy is about looking for that perfect one. Looking for that individual that makes you feel secure. That makes you feel appreciated. This is what you're looking for. This is what matters to you right now. What matters to you is an individual that can vibe like you. You see? that can be like you, that can understand you, that can feel how you feel. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. And as that thing matters to you, you found a water sign, a Scorpio, that you like. You found a individual that kind of sees the potential of something big. First card is strongest. A potential of uh, how to say this? Like you can't calculate it. You can't really. Um, put into measure there, King of Cups. That you can't seem to put into measure how much you're liking, you're loving, or you're falling for this person. You're falling for someone. Do they have feelings for you? I feel like both of you feels me at well. There's mutual feelings. So, it's not even a question of love. It's a question of, can this relationship, partnership, work out? 
King of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. Just letting you guys know. I might do a little bit longer read, so keep it in the down low. Because <laughs> it's intuitive, right? So they see a potential to work a relationship with you. They like to get to know you more. They like to know what your interest is, what makes you happy, what you do for fun. They're trying to understand that. Love it. That's good. Very, very good. So if you want to get to know them, it's the same thing. They want to get to know you too. Feelings is mutual. Now here comes the tower underneath the world card. You're so surprised about this. You probably didn't even see it coming. You probably don't understand right now how you're feeling and how you're attracted to this person. Why am I attracted to this person? Why out of nowhere I find myself looking at the King of Cups, can be an Aries or a Scorpio, so not yet in love. I feel like mesmerized. And who is this person trying to get through me? Meaning, because you already have your walls and wreath over there. They're getting inside me. Not that kind, Gemini. <laughs> They're getting inside you. Okay. In a way that nobody can. Is it Cupid's arrow? Or is it just admiration? Page of Pentacles. You guys have been talking. There's some, been some good messages between the two of you. And I'm hearing the song Simply Irresistible. Of course, it's irresistible. Especially having Ten of Cups. Accidentally falling in love. Is it the person who you work with with the Tree of Pentacles? Or you met in a networking event, Tree of Pentacles? Is it a person that you find so alluring because they just love love? And they're all about love. But you're resisting it. Strength card with the Tree of Pentacles. Is it a Leo that you're trying not to fall for? Or is it someone who's showing so much compassionate energy to you that you're trying to resist? Is it because of the past heartache that you have built a wall that you are telling yourself right now, I don't want to fall in love. But it's too late. You already find someone. And you guys are already liking each other. And the feeling is mutual. But of course, I have other Zodiac Gemini. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I have to continue this reading. Mm -hmm. So link down there in the description box. Let's see how it goes. As you find someone attractive. And you're falling. Now I'm falling, falling fast again. Why do I always stay in a home when I fall in love? I forgot, cause I'm falling, falling. <laughs> I love that song. Okay. I don't know if it's, a, if it's a my native country song, but it's called Fallen. You're falling in love. I love it. Give it a chance. We'll see an extended. If you do not resonate with this one, I'm not sure if there's an extended too, but check out the extended too. Link down there in the description box for the, uh, for everything you need. Um, personal services is also down there. 
um, if it's available. If it's not, um, then we always just try to um, catch up on our personals. All right. Bye, guys.